medium.com BitTube in-depth review tube. BitTube was launched via their Bitcoin talk and, and that's, uh, if, you, if you're not familiar with that, most of the cryptocurrencies all go to a page for announcements on Bitcoin talk forum, which is the main forum. That's the one that launched Bitcoin and Litecoin and all the rest. So if you really want to learn about a cryptocurrency, always go up to Google and type in ANN and then the name of the coin and it will bring you to that thread where it was originally announced by the developers and then everybody comes and says, what about this? What about that? And you can follow the entire discussion and the development and evolution of that coin. And I think the one for tube coin is about 87 pages now. Um, and that's actually how I found this article. So yeah, definitely go to the Bitcoin Talk announcement thread for any coin you're interested in. Read every comment. Uh, on January 31st, view it here, originally called Interplanetary Broadcast Coin, taken from IPFS, which we will discuss below, is less a coin and more a media platform akin to the likes of YouTube. Now, I want to comment on that statement because uh, it, I would not say it's less a coin because even though it has so many features, uh, this IPFS we're going to talk about, plus supporting this BitTube application, uh, it's a it's a traditional cryptocurrency, just like Bitcoin and Litecoin. I don't like any kind of fake coin. I don't like coins where people, uh, you know, there's a voting group that can control it. I want something that just is set up and runs. I want I want a coin that Satoshi Nakamoto couldn't change it even if he wanted to. Uh, I don't want somebody to be able to come in and change it. So. TubeCoin is like that. Now, there's a billion of them, but at the same time, that's all there's ever going to be is a billion of these. And, uh, you know, the big issue is going to come up, well, why won't they just keep falling in value? Well, they're going to keep falling in value until the Warren Buffetts of the world, and that's what I'm thinking I'm being when I'm buying these, is, until the Warren Buffetts of the world decide, hey, this is something that's really valuable. Let's buy it. And that's probably going to put a floor under it because of the people are buying the coin probably for less than actually cost to mine it and that's going to put a floor underneath the coin so continuing is less a coin and more a media platform akin to the likes of YouTube congrats to the community for winning our first best of eight poll to be selected now onto the review and so it gives this nice summary here of BitTube I like this summary because the website the discord channel uh, the Reddit page, Telegram page, the Twitter um, uh, channel, uh, then an algo. Here's the max supply at a billion, uh, and that's $35 million market cap. That's uh, at current prices, that's 3.5 cents for a billion. Remember, there's only uh, about 10% of that out there, even though there's a billion uh, market cap. Uh, a billion coins that will be eventually uh, in existence, there's really only about 82 or 90. So, so there's really only 10% in existence right now. And that's current circulation, 79 million. Top rich list, they say that's not available and who really cares? Pre-mine, there's none. And that's very important because that means the developers don't have an incentive to just uh, hype up a bunch of garbage, dump it on the public and run away. And that's basically a pump and dump. Um, that, that, that has been, a lot of cryptocurrencies have been characterized by that sort of scenario. And uh, that, that has brought in regulation unnecessarily. That's brought in a lot of scrutiny. So that's great. It's not pre-mined. Uh, then there's the GitHub repositories. We know that's all open source software. Developer fees are 3%. You can see that's 98.06 tube per day. I mentioned that's $344 a day at current prices. So you can see obviously that any kind of development team. And you can search around on BitTube and find that um, meet the team. And there's like, I don't know, 10, 20 people. So $344 a day between 10 and 20 people. They're not getting paid uh, by this. Uh, then there's the wallets. I've talked about the wallet. It's also a miner. There's Windows, Mac, etc. Exchanges, uh, Bitbit, Trex, Trade Ogre. 
Um, really, the only volume you're going to find is over on Bittrex, uh, live coin a little bit, but. There's the white paper uh, market cap competition. Now they say here, we recommend checking out this article while not impartial written by an investor. It does a good job of listing other competitors and making direct comparison. At this point, we only feel comfortable comparing versus coins we reviewed and we reviewed none of these competitors, other specifications. So uh, I'm gonna follow up on this article later uh, and that's where they're gonna go and review the other site, uh, other cryptos and other sites that are competitors. Now, I've had a lot of people say to me when I came out uh, meant, uh, announcing that I was migrating everything to BitTube, that I was dumping YouTube. I've had a lot of people say, well, what about BitChute? What about this? What about that? And I've looked at a lot of those. I've looked at most all of them. And there's always been something I didn't like. Uh,